Be my protector, O God, O mighty stronghold, to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me, for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with Amen. Your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is a realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, we understand that the universe was ordered by the word of God so that what is visible came into being through the invisible. By faith, Abel offered to God a sacrifice greater than Cain's. Through this, he was attested to be righteous. God bearing witness to his gifts. And through this, though dead, he still speaks. By faith, Enoch was taken up so that he should not see death and he was found no more because God had taken him. Before he was taken up, he was attested to have pleased God, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For anyone who approaches God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. By faith, Noah warned about what was not yet seen. With reverence built an ark for the salvation of his household. Through this, he condemned the world and inherit the righteousness that comes through faith, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsible psalm. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day I will praise you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will, I will praise, praise your name you. forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will, I will praise, praise your name you. forever, you. Lord. For all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will, I will praise your name you. forever, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Hallelujah, alleluia. The heavens were opened and the voice of the Father thundered. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter took, I mean, Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. 
And he was transfigured before them, and his clothes became dazzling white, such as no fuller on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say, they were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved Son, listen to him. Suddenly looking around, the disciples no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Then they asked him, Why did the scribes say Elijah must come first? He told them, Elijah will indeed come first to restore all things, yet how is it written regarding the Son of Man that he must suffer greatly and be treated with contempt? But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did not, and they did to him whatever they pleased, as it is written of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Today we read. Mark's account of the transfiguration of Jesus. For brevity's sake, because there is an, a Sunday in August, transfiguration we honor. Um, let's just focus on one thing. It is good when all of us receive affirmation. Today, Jesus receives a double affirmation. He receives it through Moses and Elijah and through God, his Father. This double affirmation is intended to strengthen him and his free decision to continue on the road to Jerusalem to be crucified. For you and I, we may not hear the voice of God in a cloud. We may not have Moses and Elijah appear to us. But God still sends people into our lives to continually affirm us in our decision to continue to journey toward our own Calvaries. Like our Lord who led the way, we must go through Good Friday before we can attain Easter Sunday. And as Moses and Elijah and God, the Father himself, affirmed Jesus' free decision to do this, so God sends people into our lives who do the same thing. They affirm us. They support us. They lift us up. And we thank God for all those people who have been there for each one of us here present today, those on the video. You know, that's something we didn't think about. We have people on the video who pray and support us as we pray and support them who watch this Mass. God wants us to know He is affirming our decision to do well, he loves us. He is there for us. He will always support us and never leave us unattended. 
May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, 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 hear our prayer. We pray for those who watch this Mass on video, for those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound. We pray for you here present. For all of these needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And we pray this Mass with the intention of honoring and remembering the souls in purgatory. For them, this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude by asking Mary's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For to the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and the Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took to the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, kingdom, power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever. Endeavor. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. They ate and had their fill, and what they craved the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they craved. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious name. Blessed be Jesus and the most of the sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit and the Blessed be the great mother of God, and the most holy. Blessed be our holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be the glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, and his angels, and his saints.